Welcome. Tough crowd, tough crowd. Um, so this is a big day for all of you. This is a big day for all of you and for Wasserman Boxing. Um, three well-known fighters who will carry a very, very good reputation uh, within the sport. Harlow, we'll start with you. I saw you in the gym about six weeks ago. You were, you were working hard, you were training hard. You hadn't boxed since just before Christmas when you had a really good win against Danny Darko. You were staying busy, staying ready. Uh, smile on your face as there always is. And uh, you were, as you always have been, optimistic that something was coming. Yeah. And something has come. That's it. That's the, that's the way I've had to stay in this game. Um, you know, I've come through the hard route. Um, and it's for me it's always about fulfilling my potential so I knew you know stay in the gym every day and as the fights come take them and, and show what I can do and then keep working in the gym so since December um, you know three days after my last fight I've been in the gym ready um, improving daily and um, ready for any opportunities that arise and um, you know it's been a year so that's a year of progression, but I've been churning away. I haven't had the chance to get out and show, you know, improvements since the last one. But now the time's here, and I'm partnered, partnering with Wasserman and um, the Salomon brothers, and I think this is the perfect combination to take my career to the next level. Um, and I really believe that this is the right place to um, to do that. So, so what's the plan for, for Harlem then? Because he's, he's got to a certain level, he's proven at a certain level, it would appear that there's definitely a lot more to come. How quickly are you hoping to try and move him? I don't think we're in any race of time here. I mean, you know, he's in a, he's in a good place in terms of training, you know, training with Adam Booth. Um, and, you know, you can make a lot of surname, of course, in terms of brand, but at the end of the day, he is very unique. You know, it's, it's like you said, he, 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 Harlem is one of the most cheerful people in boxing. He always got a smile on his face till he gets in the ring. Um, and he's in, a, he's in a weight class I, of course, know very well with the super lightweights. Um, having gone through the, the World Boxing Super Series and, and seen the best super lightweights in the world in front of me, and I'm seeing him down training. He he's obviously not there yet, and you know, there'll be I'll be talking promoter rubbish if I was saying he was, but we believe in him, um, Adam believes in him, and he's someone that we think we can move at a pace, I'm not going to say quick, because quick it, quick doesn't work, there's no, there's no quick fixes in boxing, the quick fixes they fall down tomorrow, you know, and um, that for me that's, it will be at a pace, and you know, I think there's some great fights to make at that, at that weight, but once again we'll, we'll move at our pace, but he's someone that, 100% the second half of next year can, can, be, head, can be a headliner. And you're joined by your stable mate as well, the pair of you, you and, and Josh Kelly obviously train, uh, train with, with Adam, Adam Booth down in, down in Surrey. So Josh, for you is this a case of you needed or you felt you needed something a little bit more fresh, a bit more new in, in your career? Yeah, I mean, uh, Nisha and Carla are both absolutely great guys and um, powerhouses in boxing. So, I mean, the the move suited me personally down to the So, obviously, uh, it's going to refresh my career, a massive brand, a massive platform. I can't wait to get kicked off and uh, sort of right the wrongs which went on and um, yeah, then get back on get back on track. Can we call it a comeback? I mean, how how have things been? How have things been since since the last fight? Because it's hard to take, isn't it? First defeat is it's hard to take. There's always been a big spotlight on you. There's been there's been a lot of expectation. There's been quite a lot of unfair criticism. I would say. How how's life been since? No, listen. Um, I mean, fights before that, personal life hasn't been solid. So um, I just sort of got magnified in that fight, and obviously things happened. I took a good few months off. Uh, probably is a bit too much, but the fact of the matter is, I had to sort of, I sort of personal things that were going on in my life, which, which played out, affected that fight. And obviously, I was beat on the night by a better fighter, but um, personal issues went on and did play a massive, massive part in that. So I've just been shorting them up, and now I'm, uh, and now I'm steady. I've steadied the shit, and I feel as well. 
I'm back in the right headspace, the right place to uh, the right place to be, and I'm ready to move on in December and sort of um, all for December and races sort of kick on. I just say to that quickly, personal things, whatever. You just mentioned it before, and with with Harlem and and how quick and you know, and you're always clever afterwards. You know that's also clear in our sport. You're always clever when a certain match doesn't work out and whatever it is. But when you are and I would argue together with probably with Josh Boatsy, you are being painted as the future of British boxing by, uh, by Sky at the time and, and moving it to that level in your 12th or 13th fight, it was your 12th fight. Um, that's fast moving, yeah? That's quite a pace. I know you had a very successful amateur career, but that's fast pace. And that's something that sometimes it works, eh? sometimes you roll that dice and you know, anyone who's been around the sport long enough, sometimes you roll dice and they pull off and sometimes they don't. And the talent is undeniable because you know, Sky is a very solid team of experts and, and, uh, and you know, they recognise the talent and that's why they set on that talent, same with Wawatsi at the time. And that talent is phenomenal and we believe in that talent. And, you know, you spend time with Josh. I mean, I did need a, a bit of uh, help with the translator in the first couple of days, but we have got used to it now. He's got my dialect, and he's got his my. His, but we, 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 you know, he's, he's a fantastic guy, and you can see why. You know, he's he's a great, great boxer to promote. You know, um, and he's going to have to step up and do his thing in the ring, and, and that's clear. But we mustn't forget of what stage his career is at, because if you looked at it, you felt like if he won that fight, next fight, it was going to be headed on the pay-per-view show. And that, you know, that's, of course, there's always, you know, as a promoter, you've always got pressure to, to deliver. You've got a pressure to deliver the next superstar, etc., etc. And that can sometimes, and I've, I've, I've been there before myself, and, and you know, I had to rush someone a bit more through. And that, you know, that can sometimes come back to bite you at certain stages. And, you know, I think that we won't lose the parts, the good parts and the, and the efforts that have been put in on bringing him. I mean, Josh Kelly is, is a, in British boxing a big name. And he's a big name that we're going to be bringing back and bringing back bigger, badder than ever. Well, we look forward to it. We very much look forward to it. And last but certainly not least on the end, we've got Nathan Goldman boxing at heavyweight from, from famous boxing stock. And I guess in a way you had a similar kind of experience to Josh in your career. You were put into a big, big fight that attracted an enormous amount of attention against Daniel Dubois and you've had to, you've had to rebuild um, from that. Um, so how did this all start for you? How did this relationship come about for you with Wasserman? Um, obviously it started about say about a month ago, something like that. Um, I obviously, my last fight was in March uh, the 27th, so it was about five, six months ago, and the Southern team, obviously, Wasserman, everyone got in contact with my management team, obviously. We had, a, we had a coffee, had a bite to eat, and it basically went from there, you know, I like what I saw, I like the brand Wasserman, I, I, I'm hearing very good things about him, and I fully believe, obviously, from March in today, it's the first time I've been to the offices and stuff. It's, uh, it's an amazing setup, you know, I've been, some of these lads will be have been around the block a bit, you know, I'm an experienced professional and it's one of the best I've seen, I'll be totally honest with you. So I do believe the backing I've got and, you know, the good matchmaking at the right time and stuff, I believe I'm going to go very far with everyone backing me. And this, you, you've been talking to a pair of you about how, you know, you love a heavyweight, you've got, you've got good um, pedigree with, with moving heavyweights and, and Nathan's another good example of a fighter who has already achieved a good amount. I think he's in line for a Commonwealth title shot before too long, maybe, but there's, there's, there's a lot more to come. Yeah, I mean, um, I've been a long time admirer of Nathan. Um, I actually had money on him to beat Daniel um, in that fight. Sorry, mate, sorry. <laughs> but but uh, you could tell he wasn't right going into the ring. Um, and, you know, I'm just glad to have him on board because I think there's a, a lot more Nathan Corbin, uh, you know, still to come. Um, he's only young. Um, I think. I think we just need to develop him correctly. Uh, right tight, right fights at the right time. Obviously, if the mad offers come in, the mad offers come in, and then we sit down as a team and decide. Um, but you know, there's Fabio Wardley out there, who I believe, 
you know that's that's a great fight. I think that's a that's a it's a win for for Nathan, but I'm sure he thinks differently. Um, and there's a lot of good heavyweights domestically and and around the world at the moment. But first and foremost is we you know we keep this development stage going again. Um, you know and and keep moving up the rankings. Okay, well, great to see the three of you. Congratulations. Uh, Harlem New Bank, Josh Kelly, Nathan Gorman, the new Wasserman signings announced today. Hope to see you in action before two or three of you.